New at 11, the code enforcement team in West Valley City now has new life-saving gear. April Baker is live to explain the donation and the significance behind it. Hi, April. Hi, good morning. All 10 of the code enforcement officers now have bulletproof vests to keep them safe while they're doing their jobs. This donation is particularly meaningful because they lost one of their own back in 2018. Jill Robinson, if you remember, was brutally murdered. So she had just celebrated 10 years of service with West Valley City. When that happened, she was shot and killed during a routine code enforcement. That's what motivated Tim's son to take action. He lives and works as a code enforcement officer in California, but says hearing of Robinson's death had a profound effect on him. He started to go fund me for her immediately after, but that's quickly evolved into a nonprofit charity called the Code Enforcement Officer Safety Foundation. It's it's the only one of its kind. Sun says their jobs have increasingly gotten more dangerous in recent years. They aren't just handling mundane issues such as weed control. They're going into drug houses and homeless camps, dealing with many unknowns. These are all things that code enforcement officers are willing to go into happily because they actually have a great heart. That's why they took the job and they want to help the city, right? Now it's time for cities and counties to start helping them. Well, Sun says this is a step in the right direction for West Valley City's code enforcement. He ideally would want them to be equipped with pepper spray and radios at the bare minimum. And he also wants to give them training so they know how to defend themselves in different scenarios. So he will be coming to Utah in just a few months to offer West Valley City code enforcement officers as well as any other code enforcement officers who want the training. So we'll keep you posted on that. Reporting live in West Valley City. City. April Baker, Fox 13 News, Utah.